Slime cube sale. Look how long I am, Lily. <laughs> Keep stretching me, Max. Make me even longer. Okie dokie, goo. <laughs> That's enough stretching for now. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the monster, monster mascot will be there! It's Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. Hi! Phooey! I'm cranky. I'm even crankier than usual. Mr. Cranky Pants Monster is always very cranky. So, what's the problem? Well, I'm having a sale on frozen slime cubes. Frozen slime cubes? Oh, we, we love, love frozen, frozen slime, slime cubes. The problem is, every monster in Monstrovia loves yucky frozen cubes of slime. Isn't that good? No, it's rotten. My phone has been ringing off the hook with orders. And it takes me so long to pack the slime cubes into boxes, they keep melting. And I'm getting crankier and crankier. Don't worry. The Monster Mask Squad can help. Hurry! We have to help Mr. Cranky Pants Monster pack his slime cubes before they melt. I'm sure we can use some monster math to do that. Yeah, monster math can do anything. Because monster math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the monster math squad on the job? Join the squad, join the squad. You will? Awesome. First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, word monster. monster. Today's secret monster math word is Length. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Length. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's help Mr. Cranky Pants Monster pack some slime cubes. <laughs> Them, they're for my customers. So, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster, what seems to be the problem with packing the slime cubes into boxes? Watch. The first order is for five slime cubes. One, two, three, four, five. So far, so good. But when I try to package them in a box, they don't fit. See? The box is the wrong size. It isn't long enough to fit all the slime cubes. Uh, here, try this one. <gasps> Too big. I need a box that's the exact right length. But I keep choosing the wrong box size. Unless I can back them faster, I'll be left with nothing but a melted slime disaster. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's not good. No, it isn't. But I don't know how to find a box that's the right length for this order. Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, length. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, length. Look, it worked, a monster math monitor. <laughs> this little monster has had lots of fun at play, but now it's time to put his blocks away. He wants to pack up all his red blocks. But how can he tell which is the right box? How can he measure? How will he know? Ooh. Oh, he'll line his blocks up. Just so. This box is too long, so that won't do. Aw, too short, so that one's wrong too. Wow, here's the right box. The blocks just fit. It's the perfect length. Yay, he got it! Thanks, Math Monitor. That was really interesting. By lining up the blocks, the little monster could see what the length of the box needed to be. Maybe knowing about length will help us find the right box. And since length is a math word, let's, let's do, do monster math! math. Oh! Mr. 
Mr. Cranky Pants Monster, you said you need to find a box that's the right length to fit the number of slime cubes in the first order, right? Right. Five frozen slime cube cups. Hmm. What should we do? Maybe start by lining up the slime cube cups? Yeah, that would work. If we know how long five slime cube cups are, we can pick a box that's the right length. Right. Uh, but first we need to tidy up this counter. I'll use some empty cups. There, five empty slime cube cups. We need to make sure these slime cube cups stay together. Oh, oh, we could glue them together. I've got glue. Here. There. <gasps> Look, it's just like a ruler. Now we can use it to measure the boxes. We just have to find a box that's the same length as these. How do I use this thing? I don't get it. You just lay a box against the ruler, and if it's the same length, it's the right box. Phooey, this box is the wrong length. Too short. What about this box? Is it the right length? Yes! The length of this box is the same as the length of the cube cup ruler. Five cube cups long. So this box is the right length. Ooh, ooh, I'll put the frozen slime cube cups in it. It worked! Okay, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. How many frozen slime cubes are in your next order? Uh, four! The ruler is five cube cups in length, and we need a box that will fit four cups. So the length of the box needs to be four cups long. Let's count out four slime cube cups on the ruler. One, two, three, four! I still don't get it! Oh, I get it! <laughs> I'll show you! We lay the boxes beside the ruler we made, and the box that's four cube cups long is the right box. Okay, squad. Remember, the box has to be four slime cube cups long. Which box is the right length? One, two, three, four. Yes, that's the one. Good job, squad. There's an order for three slime cubes, an order for four slime cubes, two, oh, I'm gonna need more boxes. One, two, three slime cube cups. So I need a box that is this length. This is faster, but not fast enough. I still have to count the number of cube cups on the ruler each and every time. How can we go faster? Ah! Ah! Did you see word monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, length, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, length! Look, a monster math monitor. This little monster wants to pack his yellow blocks. But how can he tell which is the right box? How can he measure? How will he know? Oh, he'll line his red blocks up and make a ruler, like so. Then he'll mark them. One, two, three, four, five. That's good. This will help him. He knew it would. How many yellow blocks are there? One, two, three. So three blocks long is the length the box must be. Here's a box. It's three blocks long. The yellow blocks are put away. So long! Thanks, Monster Math Monitor! Now we know that putting numbers on our cube cup ruler will help us find the length of the boxes we need much faster. How? We can put numbers on the cube cup ruler to make a number line. Then Mr. Cranky Pants Monster won't have to count cubes each time he chooses a box. I'll do it! Hey, Squad! Help me put the numbers on! One, two, three, four, five! <laughs> Thanks! Now it's a number line ruler. So if you need a box for three slime cubes, just look for the number three. Let me try that. One, two, three slime cubes in this box. Wait. What if we need a box for two slime cubes? 
<laughs> That's right. You look for the number two. Let me try that. One, two. Slime cubes in this box. <laughs> hey, it works. It really works. This is much faster. All done. And just in time, too. Here's the first customer. Here's your order. Five slime cubes. They're still frozen and in a box that's the right length. Now scram before I get cranky. And here's a slime cube for each of you monsters. Oh. Yum! Good work, Monster Math Squad. We helped Mr. Cranky Pants Monster fill all his slime cube orders. And we did it by knowing all about length. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Oh! We, we did, did the math! Monsters race. Hey, Max, want to see something cool? Sure. What is it, Goo? I can run down to Miss Merkley's muffin shop, get a muffin, and run back here in the same time it takes you to blink your eyes. Really? Okay. Here I go. Want to see me do it again? Huh? You mean you already did it? Yep. But you weren't gone long enough to go to Miss Merkley's muffin shop. Then where did I get this? Wow! <laughs> I'm not sure where you got that muffin, but can you get it back? <sighs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! It's Sporty Monster. He loves all kinds of sports. For sure, Lily. And today's sport is one of my favorites, slug monster racing. Smooth Moves Monster and I are racing our pet slug monsters against each other. We do it once a year. A slug monster race! Awesome! It is, but I have a problem. As you can see, I have two slug monsters, and I need to figure out which one I should enter into the race against Smooth Moves' slug monster. How can we help? I really need to find out which slug monster is the best racer, and I don't know how to do that. Don't worry, Sporty Monster. The Monster Math Squad is on the way. Slugtastic! See you soon! Hmm. We need to help Sporty Monster figure out which of his slug monsters is the best racer. <gasps> I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! <laughs> join the squad! You will! Awesome! First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word monster! monster! Today's secret monster math word is time. Next time you see word monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Time! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see word monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go figure out which of Sporty Monster's slug monsters is the best racer. Say hi to the Monster Math Squad, slug monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes my slug monsters get jumpy when they're close together. Don't you, my boo-boos? <laughs> I can see that. I need to know which of my slug monsters is the best racer. The race goes from one end of this track to the other. That's easy. Just have them race together on the track and see which one gets to the finish line first. The first slug monster will be the winner. The fastest one. I forgot to mention, in a slug monster race, it's the slowest slug monster that wins, not the fastest. Well, uh, no problem. You can still race them together and see which one crosses the finish line last. That will be the slowest slug monster. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is my slug monsters can't race beside each other. 
Remember how jumpy they get when they're close together? <laughs> so if they can't race beside each other, how will I ever know which one is the best racer? <laughs> what is that? It's a stopwatch monster. I think the stopwatch monster is telling us that it can help. But how? <laughs> Did you see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, time! Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, time! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor! How long can a monster hold a barbell in the air? A stopwatch will count the time he holds it there. One, two, three, four, four seconds. That's how much time he held it for. The monster is happy. He lets out a roar. Yeah! Now the other monster will have a try. How long can she hold the barbell high? One, two, three, four, five, six. She held the barbell for six seconds, six. Good job, monsters. Now get ready for some other tricks. Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. Now we know about measuring time. I bet the Monster Math Monitor was telling us we can use Stopwatch Monster to measure the amount of time it takes each slug monster to go from one end of the track to the other. I think you're right, Max. And since time is a math word... Let's, let's do, do Monster Math! math. Okay, squad. First, we need to measure the time it takes one slug monster to get from one end of the track to the other. Okay, green slug monster, when I say go, you start running. And stopwatch monster, when I say go, you start your timer. And squad, when I say go, help us count along with stopwatch monster. Ready, set, go! One, two, three, four, five, monster got from one end of the track to the other in five seconds. That's how much time it took. Let's see how much time the red slug monster takes. Ready to race, red slug monster? Ready to time, stopwatch monster? And ready to count, squad? Great! When I say go. Ready, set, go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Oh the red slug monster got to the end of the track in seven seconds. That's how much time it took. So the green slug monster took five seconds, and the red slug monster took seven seconds. The slug monsters got to the end of the track in different amounts of time. So which slug monster should I race against Smooth Moves' slug monster? Which one was the slowest? Ah! Ah! Did you see word monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, time, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, time! Look, a monster math monitor. Two little monsters each crawl on a stick. This one moves slowly, and this one moves quick. How long does it take the fast one to crawl? Let's count. One, two, three. That took no time at all. Now for the slow one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that's a big number. She took a long time. The more time you take, the slower you are. So you, little monster, are the slowest by far. Thanks, Math Monitor. That was Monster math -erific. Now we know that the one who takes more time to do something is the slowest. My green slug monster finished the course in five seconds, and my red slug monster finished the course in seven seconds. Does it take more time to count to five or to seven? 
Aha! It takes more time to count to seven, because seven is more than five. So, which slug monster was the slowest? The red one finished in seven seconds, so it was the slowest. Then it's decided. I'll enter my red slug monster in the race against Smooth Moves' slug monster. Hey, we've got to get going. We don't have much time before the race starts. <laughs> The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. Time for some slug monster racing action. Hey, hey! On your marks, get set, go! Those slug monsters sure are slow. I know! The slower, the better. The slowest slug monster wins. Go, go, go! Slow, slow, slow! Yes! <laughs> Wow, that was a close race. Who won? Who was the slowest? Smooth Moves' blue slug monster did the race in six seconds, and Sporty Monster's red slug monster did the race in seven seconds. So that means? Well, seven seconds is more than six seconds, so... Oh, oh, I know! That means Sporty Monster's slug monster took more time. It was the slowest. So your slug monster won the race! You did it, my little slug monster! I knew you could! Way to go, sporty monster! You deserve a big cheer! But I bet my slug monster will go slower next year! Oh, yeah! Monster math -erific job, Monster Math Squad! We helped Sporty Monster figure out which of his pet slug monsters to enter in the race. And we did it by knowing all about time. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the math. We did, did the, the monster, monster math. <laughs> best, best monsters ever. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> I've never been to a wedding before, Goo. Me neither, Max. How monster romantic! We're going to be there to share Nervous Nelly Monster's special day and hear her say, I. Say I. No, Goo, say I do. <laughs> and the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! It's Nervous Nelly Monster! The Bride! Hi, Nervous Nelly Monster! So, are you ready for the happiest day of your life? <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. What's the matter, Nervous Nelly Monster? <laughs> I've been very nervous that something would go wrong with the wedding planning, and now, on my big day, it has! What happened? My best monsters aren't here. Your best monsters? Uh, what are those? Best monsters are the monsters who help the bride on her wedding day. Without them, I'll have to call the wedding off. No, you can't cancel the wedding just because your best monsters aren't there. But a bride needs helpers. Don't worry, Nervous Nelly Monster. The Monster Math Squad is on the way. We'll be your best monsters. You will? Thank you, Monster Math Squad. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder if we can use Monster Math for the kind of help a bride needs on her wedding day. Sure we can! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, word Monster! monster. Today's secret monster math word is same. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Same. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help Nervous Nelly Monster with her wedding day. <laughs> Any of you 
ever been best monsters at a wedding before? Not yet. Oh, that makes me nervous. I'd better show you what to do. First, the bouquets. They're your job, Max. Stinkweed. Yes, fresh stinkweed for the freshest, stinkiest bouquets possible. So what do I do with the bouquets? Well, there are five bouquets in that vase, one for each of my hands. When the wedding starts, Max, it's your job to pass them to me. Great! One, two, three, four, five. Like that? Yes! Perfect! How do I look? Um, not so perfect. What? <gasps> What's wrong? The bouquets. They look too small in your hands. Oh, dear. Uh, we've got to make the bouquets bigger. There's lots of stinkweed growing around here, but we have to hurry. The wedding's going to start soon. Then grab those bouquets and let's pick some stinkweed, everyone. Come on. before. Maybe we made more than five bouquets. You might be right. It sure looks like there are more bouquets than before. Uh, we need help. Ah! Ah! Did you see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Same. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Same. This monster has one, two, three, four, five cakes. Five cakes to make and decorate. He takes one off its stand to start. Oh my, that's quite a work of art. Then he works on two, three, four, and five. Wow, those blinking eyes make them look alive. but they don't fit back on the shelf somehow. Does that mean there are more cakes now? There's a way to check. Aren't you glad? Oh. Just match the cakes to the stands they had. There were five cakes before, and there are one, two, three, four, five cakes now. There's the same number of cakes. They're just bigger. Oh, wow. Thanks a lot, Monster Math Monitor. That was helpful. The math monitor showed us that the number of cakes stayed the same even when the cakes got bigger. And since same is a math word, let's, let's do, do monster math! math. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. The math monitor showed us that by matching the cakes with their cake stands, the baker discovered that he had the same number of cakes as before. Oh! So maybe we can match these bigger bouquets with something else to see if they're the same, too. Hmm. I wonder what we could match to these new bigger bouquets. <gasps> Your <Yeah>! hands! <laughs> ah! What's wrong with them? <laughs> Nothing. Your hands look great. Amazingly great. Because there are five of them. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes! We can match the bouquets to Nervous Nelly Monster's hands. That's a great idea! Ready, Squad? Help us match the new, bigger bouquets to Nervous Nelly Monster's hands. One, two, three, four, five! <laughs> a perfect match! We've still got five bouquets. Even though the bouquets are bigger, the number is the same. Thank you, Monster Math Squad. Now, Goo, I need to show you your best monster's job for the wedding. My job? Uh, I get a job? <laughs> Sorry, Max. <laughs> I'm a little excited. These are the wedding rings, Goo. There are one, two, three, four, five for me, and one, two, three, four, five for the groom. The wedding will be happening in the gazebo. Practice holding the pillow and taking a few steps down the path nice and carefully. Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Hey! Look at this! Now I think.
think there are more groom's rings than bride's rings. The groom's row is longer than the bride's row. No. Does that mean there are more rings in this row? <laughs> Did you see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, same, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three. Same! Look, a monster math monitor. This little bus fits five monsters. One, two, three, four, five monsters wait. All lined up together, nice and straight. The bus opens its doors, they all get on, and off it roars. It's another day for the bus. How many monsters are there? It looks like a lot. They're all spread out, but one, two, three, four, five is still how many we've got. No matter how things are arranged, the number will remain the same. Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. Now we know that whether things are closer together or more spread out, their number stays the same. I bet knowing that will help us find out if it just looks like we have more groom's rings or if we really do. Let's count all the rings. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five bride's rings. And one, two, three, four, five groom's rings. Five of each? That's what we're supposed to have! <laughs> then the number is the same. <gasps> the wedding's beginning! Look, there's my groom monster. And there's... Mr. Cranky Pants Monster! Yes, he's performing the wedding. Quick, Max, hand me my bouquets. And Goo, start down the path with the ring pillow carefully. And quick, Lily, get set to do your job. What is my job? Oh! In all my nervousness, I forgot to tell you. Your job is to let the squawk monsters out of the cage so they can fly. And you open the cage right after Mr. Cranky Pants Monster says... I now pronounce you monster and wife. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 squawk monsters, they make me cranky. And Squawk Monsters on my head make me really cranky! <laughs> <laughs> Monster Math, amazing job, Monster Math Squad. We helped Nervous Nelly Monster with her wedding. And we did it by knowing all about same. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three, two! We, we did, did the math! math. We, we did, did the, the Monster, monster Math! math. <laughs> Mail carrier monster's big mess. What you got there, Goo? It's a triangle letter with a cute little smiley face, Max. And <laughs> 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 the scream screen always surprises Goo. It surprised my letter, too. It's not smiling anymore. The scream scream. Oh, somewhere in Monstrobia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the monster, monster mask squad will be there. It's Mail Carrier Monster. Rain or shine, nothing stops Mail Carrier Monster from delivering all the mail in Monstrovia. But a lickety monster sure will. What's a lickety monster? That's a lickety monster. He's a little guy with a big tongue who likes to lick anything and everything. That's kind of weird. Well, that troublesome lickety monster has licked the stamps off all the envelopes. How will you ever deliver the mail? Well, that's the problem, Lily. Without stamps on the envelopes, I can't deliver the mail. Can you help get the stamps back on the envelopes? You bet we can. The Monster Map Squad is on the way! Now if you'll excuse me, I've got to catch that pesky little lickety monster! We need to help Mail Carrier Monster get the stamps back on the envelopes. <gasps> I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Awesome! First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word monster! Today's secret monster math word is... 
sides. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Sides! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Sorry, Lily. I just wanted to see something math amazing right now. Come on, squad. Let's go help get those stamps back on the envelopes. <laughs> Hi, Mail Carrier Monster! Oh, thank goodness you're here! That pesky lickety monster is licking everything in sight! <gasps> Look! Oh, my! What's it going to lick now? Don't leave yet, Mail Carrier Monster! We are here to help you get the stamps back on the envelopes. Yes, of course. But first, you need to sort the envelopes by shape. What do you mean? Well, you see, envelopes come in three different shapes. Triangle, square, and pentagon. And each shape gets a different number of stamps. So, sort the envelopes in shapes first, and then you'll be able to put on the right number of stamps. <laughs> My, I really have to go now and catch that pesky little creature! Okay, squad, time to get to work. First, we need to sort the envelopes by shape. Mail Carrier Monster said there were three shapes. Uh, what were the shapes again, Lily? He said triangle, square, and pentagon. But how do we know which shape is which? Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, sides. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, sides! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor. Three little sheeps here to do a show. They're ready to dance. Come on, let's go. Count the first dancer's sides. One, Two, three. A triangle's the shape she must be. The second shape jigs onto the floor. Count all his sides. One, two, three, four. Four is how many sides are there. The one with four sides is a square. This last shape's got rhythm. He knows how to jive. Count all his sides. One, two, three, four, five. He's got five sides, as you can see. So a pentagon is what he must be. It's time for the dancers to move along. They wave goodbye and say so long. Those were math-tastic little dancing shapes. The math monitor showed us that we can know the name of a shape by counting its sides. And since sides is a math word, let's, let's do, do monster math! Let me try counting the sides. One, two, three. Three sides. Good work, Goo. And what shape did the math monitor tell us had three sides? A triangle. I'll start the triangle envelope pile. Here's another envelope. You count the sides, Max. One, two, three, four. So this envelope has four sides. What shape has four sides? Oh, 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 a square has four sides. Wow, this envelope sure has a lot of sides. Hey, squad, let's count the sides together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five sides. That means it's a... Uh, what shape has five sides, Lily? Um, penta... pentagon. Oh, that's it. Pentagon. A shape with five sides is a pentagon. Now, we have a place to put each type of envelope shape. We, we sorted, sorted the envelopes. envelopes. Silly monsters. There are still a lot of envelopes to sort. Okay, squad, let's sort shapes. Oh, 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 this one has four sides. Do you remember what shape has four sides? 
Aha! A square! It goes in this pile. And what about this one? It has three sides. So what shape is it? <gasps> yes! A triangle! This pile... And the one with five sides is a... Oh, oh boy. Um, do you remember? Oh, a pentagon! And it goes here. Now let's hurry and get them all sorted. No, don't lick the envelopes. Bad licking monster. Fantastic sorting, Monster Mask Squad. Now we just need to put the stamps back on the envelopes by putting them in the right stamp monster machine. How do we know which stamp monster machine is right for each envelope? The envelope and the stamp monster machine lid will be the same shape. <laughs> what is he licking now? Hmm. These must be the Stamp Monster machines. And they all have different shaped lids. And to figure out the shape, we just need to count the... sides. Right! <laughs> Let's count them together. One, two, three. This machine lid has three sides. And this envelope also has three sides. So we need to put the triangle envelopes in this stamp monster. Exactly. Uh, yay, it worked. <laughs> three stamps. Great. Let's count the sides on the next stamp monster machine lid. One, two, three, four. Four sides on this lid. Uh, which shape has four sides? Yes! A square! Woohoo! And here are the square envelopes. It worked! Again! <laughs> Let's count the sides on the last Stamp Monster Machine lid together. One, two, three, four, five! Five sides! A shape with five sides is a pentagon! That's right, you. And here are the pentagon envelopes. Now that we have the envelopes matched to the stamp monster machines, let's get stamping! Uh, what's he looking at me for, Max? I think he wants to, uh, to lick you, Goo. Oh, no! I'm not lickable! Oh. Oh. Ah. I guess Lickety found something he likes to lick more than envelopes. <laughs> <laughs> Monster Math, terrific job, Monster Math Squad. We helped Mail Carrier Monster get the stamps back on his envelopes. And we did it by knowing all about sides. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. <laughs> we, we did, did the, the math. math. We did the, the monster math. <laughs> Picky Eater's Picnic. How many monster muffins do we have, Max? Oh, one, two, three. Three Monster Muffins! <laughs> Yum! They're my favorite slimy, grimy snack. <laughs> monster Muffins are my favorite slimy, grimy snack, too! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh! How many Monster Muffins do we have now, Max? One, two, three... <laughs> and the Scream Screen always surprises Goo. The Scream Screen! <laughs> Somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! It's Picky Eater Monster. He's the pickiest eating monster in all of Monstrovia. Hi, Hi Picky Eater, Eater Monster! Monster. 
Hi, Monster Math Squad. I am planning a perfectly picky picnic in the park with my brother, Persnickety Eater Monster, and I need your help. Hmm, what can we do for you? I am here at Barks and Stent Store with the two grocery lists for our picnic. Mine and my brother's. But I can't figure out how many things to get. We have to get the exact right amounts. We're very picky eaters. <laughs> we know. Don't worry. The Monster Mask Squad is on the way. Please hurry. Hmm. We need to help Picky Eater Monster with his grocery lists. I'm sure we can use some Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can solve any problem. For sure! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word Monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Add! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Add! <laughs> Not yet, Koo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. I always forget. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help Picky Eater Monster pick out stuff on his grocery list for his very picky picnic. <laughs> It's about time you showed up, Monster Math Squad. I have more important things to do than help this picky eater monster with his picky grocery lists all day. Well, that's why we're here, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster, to help. Picky eaters make me particularly cranky. Here are the grocery lists, Lily. Hmm, these lists seem to have the same things on them. Oh, yes. My brother, Persnickety Eater Monster, and I only like to eat stuffed, stinkle snacks for picnics. But we must have the exact right amount. We're very picky, you know. <laughs> we know. Don't worry, we'll find out how many stinkle snacks to buy. And while you do that, I've got to find the perfect place for our picky picnic. I'll get the stuffed stinkle snacks on this list. And I'll get the stuffed stinkle snacks on this list. Do we have enough? Or too many? Hmm. How do we find out if we have the right number of stinkle snacks? Ah! Ah! Did you hear a squawk? <laughs> Me too. It's Word Monster. That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Add. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Add. Look, it worked. A monster math monitor. A monster is counting all his toes. How many toes? Nobody knows. One, two, three. Three toes on this foot. How about this foot? One, two, three, four. Four toes. Three toes plus four more. How many toes all together? Count them all to add them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The monster has seven toes. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Well, that was helpful. Now we know about adding. Yeah. You can add things up by counting them, and then you know how many you have. I bet we need to add up the things on these grocery lists. And since add is a math word, let's, let's do monster math! math. Oh. Okay, squad, how many stuffed stinkle snacks are on this list? Let's count them. One, two. What about this list? One, two, three. Two Stinkle Snacks on one list and three Stinkle Snacks on the other. How many Stinkle Snacks does that add up to? <laughs> Let's count them all. One, one two, two, three, three four, four, five. Five. So that means when you add three Stinkle Snacks and two Stinkle Snacks together, you get five Stinkle Snacks. We need five Stinkle Snacks. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm a mad monster adder. <laughs> Let's get the 
Piggy Stinkle Snacks to Picky Eater Monster so he can have his Picky Picnic. Picky Eater Monster, we got all the Stinkle Snacks on your grocery list. Super! I've got to pick up one more thing for the picnic. I'm very picky about things being perfect, you know. <laughs> We know. While I'm gone, can you help put out the picnic plates? I can't figure out how many I need for all the guests. Sure, we can do that. Plates for you and Persnickety Eater Monster. That's a uh, one, two plates. <laughs> That's easy. Yes, but we've also added three more guests. Toodaloo. Hmm, three more guests. That's not so easy. So, uh, <laughs> how many plates do we need? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word add together again. On three. Ready? One, two, three, add! Look, a monster math monitor. A monster with two finger puppets. The monster wants finger puppets on every finger on his hand. How many more finger puppets does the monster need? Count the monster's fingers and add them up. One, two, three, four, five. The monster has five fingers, but only two finger puppets. How many finger puppets does he need to add? One, two, three. Three finger puppets added to two finger puppets makes five finger puppets. Monster Puppet Show! Yay! Well, that was helpful. Now we know that you can add onto things. Yeah, like finger puppets. <laughs> and maybe picnic plates. How many monsters are coming to the picnic? Hmm, there's Picky Eater Monster and Persnickety Eater Monster. That's two monsters. Yeah, and three more monsters coming. So, how many monsters is that all together? Oh, 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 I, I have an idea. We know that Picky Eater Monster and Persnickety Eater Monster are coming to the picnic. There they are. And we know that three more monsters are coming. One, two, three more monsters. There. Monster math -erific. Now we can add them up by counting all the monsters. Come on, squad. Let's add up how many monsters are coming to the picnic. I want to do it. One, two, monsters over here. And one, two, three more monsters over here. So three added to two. Uh, can you help me count them all? One, two, three, four, five. Five monsters all together. That means we need five plates. Yes! <laughs> Let's put out the plates for the picnic. <laughs> Is that enough plates? Or too many? Well, there's an easy way to tell, remember? Let's add them up. We need five plates all together, and how many do we have so far? One, two, three, four. Oh, we don't have enough. We need to add one more plate. Now we have five plates for five guests. And just in time for the picnic, this is my brother, Persnickety Eater Monster. Hi! Hi. How are you doing? I brought monster muffins for all the guests. Monster muffins? Oh, yummy. <laughs> They're my favorite slimy, grimy snack. Monster muffins are my favorite slimy, grimy snack, too. Your other guests sure are lucky to go to your picnic. Well, those other guests just happen to be you, Monster Math Squad, to thank you for helping us prepare our picky picnic. One, two, three monster muffins. <laughs> One for each of us. We helped set up Picky Eater's picnic, and we did it by knowing all about adding. <laughs> that deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. We, we did, did the map. We did, did the monster map. <laughs> Toothy monster plant mix up. One, two, three. <laughs> My tickling made you smile.
Well, on three, Max. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, my turn then. <sighs> Bet my tickles will make you smile faster. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 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 Max, the scream screen surprised me. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the monster, monster mask will, will be there! It's Farmer Monster. He grows the happiest plants in all of Monstrovia. Toothy Monster plants. Their big toothy smiles make anyone who looks at them smile too. Hi, Hi Farmer, Farmer Monster. Monster. Well, uh, hello there, Monster Math Squad. Uh, seems I need your help. What's wrong? It's my toothy monster plants. Customers choose how many teeth they want the plants to have, uh-huh. But I'm having trouble counting the number of teeth. Some have five teeth, some have six teeth, and some have seven teeth. Can you help me, Monster Math Squad? You bet we can! The Monster Math Squad is on the way! Thanks a heap, Monster Math Squad! We need to help Farmer Monster count the teeth in each of his toothy monster plants. I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that! Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Awesome! First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, word monster! monster! Wow! Today there are two secret monster math words. How many? Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math words with us to make something math amazing happen! How many? <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Sorry, Lily. Come on, squad. Let's go count some toothy monster plant teeth. <laughs> Monster Math Squad, we can't wait to see the big toothy monster plant smile. Hey, they're not smiling. Well, see, that's my problem. For some reason, they won't smile. And when they don't smile, I can't count their teeth. And if I can't count their teeth, how will I know which plants to sell to my customers? How can we make them smile? Maybe the same things that make us smile will make them smile, too. Goo! I know something that makes us smile. Remember? Tickling! <laughs> right! Tickling makes us smile every time. And if tickling makes us smile, maybe it will make the plants smile, too. Well, now that just might work. I want to tickle the toothy monster plant. <laughs> it's working. The plant is starting to smile. Okay, Farmer Monster, count the teeth. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, uh, seven, uh, eight. Wait, eight? Oh, what in tarnation? None of my plants have eight teeth. They have either five, six, or seven teeth. Oh, what did I do wrong? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math words, how many? Are you ready? Let's shout them together on three. One, two, three. How many? Look, it worked! A monster math monitor. One big monster with little monster friends all around. How many little monsters are there on the ground? One, two, three, four. Hey, didn't he already count that little friend? Uh-oh, he's mixed up. He'd better start again. One, two, three. The colored ones are counted, as he can plainly see. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. By marking each monster, his counting worked out great. Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. That's a great idea. 
We can mark each tooth as we count it. That way we won't count any teeth more than once and we will know how many teeth are in each toothy monster plant. And since how many is all about math, let's, let's do, do monster math! math! Ow! All right, squad, let's find something to mark those teeth with as we count. Well, if I were going to put something on my teeth, it would be something yummy. Well, one thing I know my toothy monster plants find yummy is their super duper toothy monster plant food. Oh, they love it. Super duper toothy monster plant food sounds super duper yummy. If I just load up this paintbrush with some of this plant food, then I can paint it right onto their teeth. Okay. You just need to put a dab of super duper monster plant food on each tooth as we count it, so we don't count any tooth more than once. Looks like we need to do some more tickling to get the toothy monster plant smiling again. <gasps> ticky, ticky, ticky! It's working, Goo! Don't stop! All right, time to start counting, Farmer Monster. Help us count, squad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yee-haw! This toothy monster plant has six teeth. <laughs> Tickling sure is tough. <laughs> well, at least we know that that toothy monster plant has six teeth. Huh? <gasps> oh, which plant did we count? Easy. It was the, uh, the green and purple one? They're all green and purple, Max. I'm not sure which one we counted. How can we keep track of how many teeth are in each toothy monster plant when we can't see their teeth? Ah! Ah! Did you just see word monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, how many, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, how many? Look, a monster math monitor. Fill up the first box. One, two. Mark it with a two showing the amount. Next time you look, you won't have to count. Jump in the second box. One, two, three. Mark it with a three showing the amount. Next time you look, you won't have to count. One, two, three, four, five. Mark it with a five showing the amount. Next time you look, you won't have to count. Thanks, Math Monitor. Now we know that if you write down the number of things in a group, you'll know how many are in the group, just by seeing the number. Do we need to count the teeth again, Lily? Yes, Goo. But this time, we'll write down how many teeth we counted onto the plant's pot. Even when their mouths are closed, we'll know how many teeth each plant has just by looking at the number on its pot. All right, Goo. Time to start tickling again. Okay, Lily. And Farmer Monster, it's time for you to get the super duper plant food ready so we can count the teeth. Get ready to count with us, squad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six teeth in this plant, Lily. Okay, there are six teeth in this plant. So what number do we need to write on this pot? The number six? Yes! Here it goes! Now for this toothy monster plant. Here goes! Ticky, ticky, ticky! How many teeth? Let's mark and count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five teeth on this one. All right, five teeth! So we need to write on this pot the number... Yes, the number five. Ticky, ticky, ticky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven teeth. Let's write the number seven on this pot so we can tell that this plant has seven teeth. an easier way to make toothy monster plants smile. <laughs> we just have to fall down. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. It makes me cranky. 
<laughs> what can we do for you, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster? I ordered the Toothy Monster plan with six teeth. Uh, six teeth. Coming right up. Hmm. A Toothy Monster plan with six teeth. How do we know which one that is? The one with the number six on the pot. Yes! How do I know this is the right one? Yep. That's the right one, all right. Hey, I'm smiling. Smiling makes me cranky! <laughs> <laughs> Monsterific job, Monster Math Squad. We helped Farmer Monster keep track of the teeth in his toothy monster plants, and we did it by knowing all about how many. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. We, we did, did the math! math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math! math. <laughs> <laughs> Too heavy for hopping honkers. Um, Goo, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Uh, Goo can't talk, Lily. He might let his air out. <laughs> We're seeing how light he can be. Look, he's so light, he floats. <laughs> <laughs> You're not so light after all. Sorry, Max. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! <laughs> Look, it's a hopping honker! <laughs> Hopping honkers are so much fun to ride. Monster Mask Squad, we have a problem. One of the hopping honkers won't give our friend a ride. Mm-hmm. Can you help us? Don't worry, little buckaroo. The Monster Mask Squad is on the job. Please hurry. Mm. We need to figure out why the honker won't give a ride. I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah, Monster Math can do anything. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word Monster! Monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Way! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen! Way! <laughs> Not yet, Goo! Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad! Let's hop along to the Hopping Honker Ranch! <laughs> What happened? First, I got on my honker. Then I got on my honker. And they hopped perfectly. See? But when I got on mine, he flopped to his belly. He won't hop. He won't even stand up. Maybe he's just hungry. And that's why he's not getting up. Here's the honker food machine. Yum! A chew chunk! <laughs> it's not for you, Goo. It's for the honker. Here you go. Maybe this will get you hopping again. Hmm, he's still not getting up. Maybe I can try feeding him. Ooh. Hey, he's standing up. Yippee! Now I can ride. <laughs> now I can't. Why does this keep happening? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, way. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, way! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor. Three different movers, so strong and so merry. How many boxes can each of you carry? One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that's a lot. Good for you, big guy. One, two, three, four boxes. But can you carry five? No, 
Five was too heavy for that monster to try. You can carry one box, but how about one more? <laughs> Two boxes are too heavy. You fell to the floor. Big monster, you'll be working alone, I'm afraid. The others fell down from how much the boxes weighed. <laughs> Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. Now we know all about weight. And that some things can weigh too much. The boxes weighed too much for some of the monsters on the math monitor to hold. They went kerplunk. Just like the hopping honker keeps going kerplunk when he tries to hold this monster. Hey, do you think this monster weighs too much for the honker to hold? Do you really think it's because I'm too heavy? The honker stood up! Yep, for sure. It's because you're too heavy. But that means I won't have a honker to ride with my friends. Hey, wait. If this honker can't hold you, maybe another one can. Math amazing idea, Max. All we have to do is figure out how much each honker can carry. How can we tell that? Hmm, I have an idea. We can use chew chunks. On chew chunks, we can count to see how much each honker can carry. Okay, start loading. Help us count how many chew chunks this honker can carry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Whoops, looks like we need to take one off. He's standing up! This one can carry one, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Seven chew chunks! Now this one! One, two, three, four, five, six... <laughs> Whoops! Six is too many for this honker. Let's take one away. <laughs> Perfect! This hopping honker can carry one, two, three, four, five choo chunks. Uh -huh. How's that feel, little fella? <laughs> That's too many. Take one away. Ooh. This one can carry one, two, three choo chunks. Great job, everyone. Now we know how much each hopping honker can carry. This one can carry seven chew chunks. This one can carry five chew chunks. And this one can carry three chew chunks. Yay! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Uh, wait, except we still have a problem. Hopping honkers don't give rides to chew chunks, they give rides to monsters. Just not to big monsters like me. There's got to be a way to figure out which honker can carry you. Ah, ah! Did you see word monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word way together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, way! Look, a monster math monitor. Ooh, looky there. Is that a seesaw I spy? But when one monster is down, the other's up high. They weigh different things, as a matter of fact. And to find out how much is a balancing act. Good thinking, small monster. Your idea rocks. Now big monster weighs the same as the blocks. Your turn, small monster. How much do you weigh? Oh, right. To balance the seesaw, just take a few blocks away. Hooray! That was Monster Math-tastic! Now we know how to weigh things. And I think the math monitor is trying to tell us that we need to weigh the monster riders to figure out which hopping honker they can ride. Um, what can we use to do that? Look! Do you see what I saw? A seesaw! Just like on the math monitor. We can use the seesaw to weigh the monster riders. Let's go! Okay, hop on! 
on, Buckaroo. What can we put on this other end? Well, we know how many chew chunks each honker can carry, so let's use chew chunks. Oh, good idea. One chunk, two chunks, three, four, five chew chunks. That's balanced. That means this rider weighs the same as five chew chunks. Which hopping honker can carry five chew chunks? This honker can carry five chew chunks. So it looks like the perfect match. Now it's this guy's turn. One chew chunk, two, three chew chunks. This rider weighs the same as three chew chunks. Then this is the honker for you. He can carry three. Okay, now it's your turn. One chew chunk, two, three, four, five, six, seven chew chunks. This rider weighs the same as seven chew chunks. This honker can carry seven chew chunks, so it's perfect for you. Let's find out for sure. Riders, saddle up! So far, so good. Here goes. <gasps> Yeah. Monster is a job, Monster Math Squad. We helped the riders find the right hopping honker to carry them. And we did it by knowing all about way. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. <gasps> we, we did, did the math. We did, did the monster math. <laughs> monster Bull Meltdown. Four monster marbles for you and four for me. All even. Cool. Thanks, Max. <laughs> four marbles for you. And four for me. All even. <laughs> and the scream screen always surprises Goo. Right, Lily. <laughs> I like surprises. <laughs> The Scream Screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! there. It's the Monster Twins, even Stevie and even Evie. Hi, twins. Hi, Hi Monster, monster Mask Squad. Squad. How can we help you? We want to play a game of Monster Bowl. Oh, yay! Monster Bowl is my favorite game. Monster Bowl is my favorite game, too. But there's a problem. We can't set up our game evenly. Hmm. Everything even Stevie and even Evie do has to be even. Right. And we really need your help. Or we're going to freak out. Oh, don't freak out, twins. The Monster Math Squad will save the day. Great. See, See you soon. We need to help even Stevie and even Evie play Monster Bowl evenly. I'm sure we can use some Monster Math to do that. Yeah. Monster Math can solve any problem. For sure. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad. Join the squad. You will. Awesome. First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word, word monster! Today's secret monster math word is... Even! Next time you see word monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Even! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see word monster again. Oh. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I always forget. <laughs> Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help the twins play Monster Bowl. Hi, Monster Math Squad. We're so glad you're here. Can you please set up two even sets of Monster Bowl pins? So we can both play together at the same time. All even. Uh, <laughs> how do you set up two even sets of pins? Ah! Ah! Did 
juicy word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, even. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, even! Look, it worked. A monster math monitor. A toy for the little green monster. A toy for the little red monster. Another toy for the little green monster. And another toy for the little red monster. Another toy for the little red monster. Uh-oh, it's not even. And another toy for the little green monster. All even. Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. Now we know all about things that are even. Yeah, like when everyone has the same number of toys. I bet that will help us figure out how to set up Even Stevie and Even Evie's Monster Bowl pins. Even is all about math. We can do this, squad. Let's, Let's do, do Monster, monster Math! math. Ow! To make the Monster Bowl pins even, we need to have the same number in each lane. Okay, then. Let's make the number of pins even. Oh, here's two pins for Even Stevie. And two pins for Even Evie. Are they even? They are! Oh, <laughs> goody! Two more pins for Even Evie. And two more for Even Stevie. How about now? All even? Oh, yes! Two more pins for Even Stevie. And two more pins. And one last pin for even Stevie. Time to play Monster Ball! <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, that doesn't look exactly even. Why not? What do you think, Squad? <gasps> oh, right. There are different numbers of pins. And remember, to make things even, there has to be the same number of pins. So, the pins aren't even now? No! no. We're, We're freaking, freaking out. out! Don't freak out, twins. We'll figure this out. I hope. Oh, what are we gonna do? Even Stevie has one more pin than even Evie. How can we make the pins even? Ah! Ah! I heard a squawk. Did you see Word Monster? You did? Then let's shout the secret monster math word even together again. On three, ready? One, two, three. Even! Cool, <laughs> a monster math monitor. Time to put the toys away. A toy from the little green monster. And a toy from the little red monster. That's even. A toy from the little red monster and a toy from the little green monster. That's even. A toy from the little red monster. Uh-oh, he won't hand over the toy. That's not even. A toy from the little green monster. All even. The toys are put away. Well, that was pretty cool. Now we know that you can make things even by taking things away. But how do we make the game even? Even Stevie has one more pin than even Evie. Hmm, I've got an idea. Look, a flying whatchamacallit monster. I didn't see it. Yeah, me neither. Hey, look! Our monster bowling pins are all even! Huh, they are. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> How did that happen? Shh! Now we can play! Hooray! Are we still even? Do they still have the same number of pins? No! Even Stevie knocked down one pin. So even Evie has one more pin left standing. See? We're gonna freak out again! No, oh, no, 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 don't freak out again, twins. The Monster Math Squad will think of something. 
I hope. Let's think. Uh, hmm. Even Stevie already knocked a pin down. What should they do? Maybe even Evie can knock a pin down, too. <laughs> Great idea, Goo. Then things will be even again. Are we even? Do the pins look even? Yes! Keep bowling, twins! Are we still even? What do you think? Right! Not even! Even Evie has more pins knocked down! Ah! Don't freak out, twins! We'll fix this! Even Stevie, keep bowling until you're even! Are they even now? Yes! Even! <laughs> Monster Bowl! Oh, yay! yay! Almost all the pins are knocked down. Only one left each. This is the most important part. We have to knock the last pins down at the same time. So, so we end up all even. Ah! Woohoo! This is exciting. Goo, please don't shout so much. You'll wake up the monster bowling balls. Monster bowling balls don't roll properly when they're awake. The balls woke up! They're rolling down the alley unevenly! They might not hit the pins at the same time! Freak out! <laughs> How can we keep this crazy game even? That ball is about to hit a pin! And the other is rolling right out of the park! Oh, I can't watch! I know what to do! <laughs> Yay! Goo's a bowling ball! Go, Goo, go! Both pins are down at the same time! Ah! All even! Yay! Monster Math Amazing! Best, Best Monster Bowl game ever! We helped to make even Stevie and even Evie play Monster Bowl. And we did it by knowing all about even. Great job, Monster Math Squad! That deserves a great big monster howl on three! One, two, three. Hello! We, we did, did the math! We, we did, did the monster, monster math! math. <laughs> the big stink! <laughs> Six, seven, no! Go! Please stop wiggling and giggling! I'm trying to count your toes! <laughs> it tickles! <laughs> Oh, now I lost count. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look, Max. Now I have zero toes. <laughs> <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen. Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the monster, monster mask squad will, will be there. <laughs> <laughs> it's Stinky Feet Monster. He has the stinkiest feet you ever smelled. <laughs> yes, I do. I have the stinkiest feet in all of Monstrovia. We know. How can we help you? Once a year, I wash my feet in a special foot bath. What makes it so special? The ingredients make it special, but the problem is I can't find them. My official Stinky Feet Monster Malodorous Manual says where each of the ingredients can be found, but I just can't figure it out. So you want the Monster Math Squad to help you? Yes, I really need your help to find the ingredients. Don't worry, Stinky Feet Monster. The Monster Math Squad is on the way. Stinkerific! Hmm. We need to help Stinky Feet Monster find his foot bath ingredients. <gasps> I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah, Monster Math can solve any problem. For sure, because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Yes! First, we need...
need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word monster! monster! Wow! Today there are two secret monster math words. Top and bottom. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math words with us to make something math amazing happen. Top, uh, bottom. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. I always forget. <laughs> Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help find some foot bath ingredients. <laughs> Yes, they do. I have the stinkiest feet in all of Monstrovia. Uh, <coughs> we know. Let's have a look at the malodorous manual so we can start finding your foot bath ingredients. First, we need to find a putrid pansy. They grow at the top of Monstrovia Mountain. At the top? Where's that? <laughs> You see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math words top and bottom. Are you ready? Let's shout them together on three. One, two, three. Top, top bottom! Huh, it worked! A monster math monitor. There's a monster on top of the slide. He's getting ready to go for a ride. The monster on top is ready to drop to the bottom of the slippery slide. There's a monster at the bottom of the slide. He looks a little googly-eyed. The monster at the bottom is feeling kind of rotten. Maybe he should give the swings a try. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, that was helpful. Now we know all about top and bottom. Yeah! The top is the highest part, and the bottom is the lowest part. I bet we need to know about top and bottom to help find the stuff in the malodorous manual. And since top and bottom are math words... Let's do monster math! Okay, the first ingredient is a putrid pansy that only grows on the top of Monstrovia Mountain. To the top, squad! to catch my breath. We're really high up. But I don't see any putrid pansies. That's strange. You said the top of Monstrovia Mountain, right? Right. And that's where we are, aren't we? Uh, but isn't the top the highest part of something? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And isn't that part higher than this part? Goose right. We are almost at the top, but not quite. To the very top, squad! Hey! I found a putrid pansy! Yay! Goo! According to the manual, we only need one of them for the foot bath. I'll pluck it out. <laughs> oh! Oh, that super stinks! But not as much as my feet, right? I have the stinkiest feet in all of Monstrovia! <laughs> we know! Hey! Why would anyone want to put this in a foot bath? Uh, what do we need next? Hmm, according to the manual, we need to collect a handful of berries from the bottom of a bioberry bush. Bioberries! I've seen them growing around the park. To the park, squad! The ingredients for this foot bath are weird. See? Bioberries! Just like I said. Let's get some! No! <laughs> Scary bush! <laughs> I'll take this berry way up here, little guy. It looks perfect. Whoa! Big stink! Oh, super big stink! But not as stinky as my feet, right? I have the stinkiest feet in all of Monstrovia. We know! Uh. This can't be right. It's so stinky. I'd better have another look at the manual. 
This arrow points to the bottom of the bile bush. Goo, where exactly did you pick the berry from? Uh, where was it? Was it the top or bottom? Uh, do you remember? Oh, right! I picked the berry from the top of the bush. Uh -huh. But the manual says we need berries from the bottom. Of course, that's the problem. The berries on the top must be too stinky. Try picking one from the bottom. Okay, Lily. Whoa! Oh, triple stink! Oh, too smelly! Oh, oh! Oh, stupefying stench! Uh, what a horrific stink. But not as stinky as my feet, right? No! no! Nothing is as stinky as your feet, stinky feet monster. Stinkerific! Hmm, one more ingredient to get for the foot bath. Gooey, gobby gunk. I think I saw some of those at Barks and Stench General Store. Let's go! I don't know how this stinky stuff is supposed to clean stinky feet and make them smell sweet. Huh. Gooey gobby gunk jars are over there! Top shelf! Hurry! My store is getting extremely stinky! <sighs> it smells totally stinkerific. Gooey gobby gunk. I don't see any. Hmm, me either. Mr. Cranky Pants told us the gooey gobby gunk jars are on the top shelf. Oh, the top. Where's that again? Oh, yeah, it's the highest part. Yes, the top! <laughs> and there are the jars of gooey gobby gunk. Got it! Great! Now we have to mix all the ingredients together. <laughs> Whoa! This is seriously stinky! But not as stinky... We know! Not, not as stinky as your feet! feet. Okay, here goes... Oh, big stink! Uh, I just don't understand why anyone would want to make a foot bath out of that. Yeah, it stinks like a million zillion rotten dragon eggs! Ugh. <sighs> yeah. Perfecto! Ooh, why are you sticking your feet in that stuff, stinky feet? No! <laughs> this foot bath is perfect! The official Stinky Feet Monster Foot Bath is supposed to be stinky! <laughs> it's supposed to make my feet even stinkier! <laughs> oh, make it stop! <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it did! Well, now my whole store stinks! I'm very cranky about this! Yuck! Oh, I need it! We got all the ingredients for the official Stinky Feet Monster foot bath. And we did it by knowing all about top and bottom. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the, the math. math! We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math! math. Oh. I'm taller. I'm totally taller. <laughs> the answer is Max. <laughs> no, wait, it's Goo. Yay! Huh? Goo? Yeah! <laughs> now it's Max again. The scream screen surprised me. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the monster mascot will be there! Oh, it's Mr. Slime Cream Monster. He drives the slime cream truck. Slime cream sundaes are so gooey. 
They're mucky. They're gucky. They're, They're monster monsters. delicious. Silly <laughs> 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 monsters. Oh, I am in big monster trouble. What's wrong, Mr. Slime Cream Monster? Monsters keep ordering slime cream sundaes. Oh, that's great. Yeah, but then they get really mad at me. Oh, that's bad. Well, they keep telling me that I've got their order wrong. Can you help me? I'm sure we can. Monster Math can do anything. Well, you'd better come quick. If I don't get this figured out, I won't be able to sell any more slime cream sundaes. Oh, no! No more Sundays! No! We have to do something! I know, Goo. I bet Monster Math can help out Mr. Slime Cream Monster. Yeah! Monster Math can solve any problem! For sure! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Yes! First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, word monster. monster! Today's secret monster math word is all. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. All. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> silly me. Come on, Monster Math Squad! Let's go to the slime cream truck! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Slime Cream Monster! Ah! Oh, it's you, Monster Math Squad! <laughs> oh no! Sunday on the ground! Mmm, someone get me a spoon. Goo, you shouldn't eat things off the ground. Besides, we need to help Mr. Slime Cream Monster fix his problem. Oh, okay. So, what's up, Mr. Slime Cream Monster? Oh, I've got big problems. This is monsterable. Hurrah! I think I've made Mr. Cranky Pants Monster very... Cranky? Yes! I'm trying to order three slime cream sundaes, and he's only giving me one. Oh, mm, sundaes. Uh, why don't you give him three? No, oh, but I'm trying. I really am. Watch me count the sundaes. One, two, and three. Here you go. This is three. Well, now let me count how many Sundays I have. One. That's all! Mm. No licking, Goo. What am I doing wrong? Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Oh! Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, oh! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor! I'm one all by myself. We're two when I'm with you. Together we're three when you add me. When you count us up to be a superstar, remember, the last number is how many we all are. Hmm. Thanks, monster math monitor. It looked like the last number you count is the number for the whole group. I think that can help us. Well, that sounds like math to me. Okay, Monster Math Squad, let's, let's do, do Monster, Monster Math! math. Oh. Okay, we need to get three Sundays. I know. We need to give him this one, too. Well, do you have all three? Now I have one, two, do you think Goo got it right? No, he did not. I only have two. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, but it still looks so good. <laughs> no licking Sundays on the ground. We still need to get three Sundays for Mr. Cranky Pants. Come on, let's look at the math monitor again. <laughs> Monsters. One, two, three. Three.
three monsters in the group. And how many Sundays? One, two, three Sundays. Are you monster tricking me? That's what I counted. One, two, three. Here is three. But remember what the math monitor showed us? I'm one all by myself. And we're two when I'm with you. And together we're three when you add me. I can do this. Count them up. Be a superstar. The last number is how many they all are. Here goes. One, two, three. So all of them together are three. Finally. Yay! Yeah! So close, and yet so far. <laughs> Are you happy now, Mr. Cranky Pants? No, I'm not happy. I'm never happy. <laughs> but my belly kind of is. Good credit! Thank you so much, Monster Math Squad. But, oh, I'm not sure I can help the next customer all by myself next time. Well, here's your chance. Another customer. It's Smooth Moves Monster. Yo, I need four slime cream sundaes with extra slime and make them super duper gooper slimy. Mmm, that sounds tasty. One, two, three, four. So far, so good. And next, I... Oh, oh, I'm really mon-struggling. No, oh, no, I can't remember all the steps. Ah, ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word all together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, all! Look, a monster math monitor. I'm one all by myself. We are two when I'm with you. Together we're three when you add me. And now one more. Our group is four. When you count us up to be a superstar, the last number is how many we all are. <laughs> That's great, Monster Math Monitor. Now, hopefully Mr. Slime Cream Monster can remember that the last number he says is the number for all the Sundays put together. The last number I say is how many they all are. Okay, I'll give it a try. Uh. Uh. Oh, I'm so nervous. One, two, three, four. All of them together are four. So I'll give them all four. Yo, Mr. Slime Cream, that's exactly how many I wanted. Mmm, lots of slime, now that's sublime. Monster, all by yourself. <gasps> I did, didn't I? Oh, thanks for showing me how to count today. You guys are monster awesome. Now we should probably get Goo a slime cream sundae. Yeah, <laughs> if we don't get him one soon, he might. Mm. <sighs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this Sunday's on me, and that's my last one. See you, monsters, later! Bye! Bye! Sharesies! Slime cream sundaes are so gooey! Um, um, they're mucky! They're gunky! They're, they're monster-licious! <laughs> Aw, thanks, guys! Oh. Well done, Monster Math Squad. We helped Mr. Slime Cream Monster, and we saved the slime cream truck. And we did it by knowing that the last number you count is the number for the whole group. Great job, Monster Math Squad. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. 
One, two, three, 